Hey, welcome back to another Electric Canuck video. This is uh, another one of my series in the FSD beta, unedited. And today you can see that we are not in sunny California. <laughs> so I couldn't resist an opportunity to do a real world unedited uh, video uh, with the road being covered in snow. Uh, the route that we're going to take, we're going to do from here to like a shopping center. And it's not all going to be like this, but I'm kind of embedded into a residential area with streets that haven't really been plowed very well. And I know that this is going to be uh, a difficult scenario for FSD beta. And I'm sure people are not going to be happy about it. Uh, but this is when you live in the north. Um, I'm sure Canadians will appreciate this video. Anyone in a northern country that gets winter, Norway, wherever, uh, this is kind of the stuff that we deal with on a daily basis. And yes, we have SD, FSD beta, and yes, we're going to test in these conditions. Okay, uh, with that being said, a recap of the ground rules. I'm not going to put myself in danger. I'm not going to put anyone else in danger, and I'm not going to drive like an a-hole. <laughs> so... I did get some feedback from my last uh, video and, you know, I will make some changes here. I'm going to do a wider view angle so that people can see the steering wheel. Um, I'm not sure because it's dark out that people will see the pedal, but, you know, I'm trying to make some changes here to make the video uh, better uh, based on feedback that I've received. So thank you for your feedback. Now, uh, I am on version uh, 30.5 as far as the software release. I do have 30.10 uh, now available for me to install. I know that this is not FSD version 11, so I'm going to do this video uh, anyways. Uh, literally, this just uh, became available as I was out and about. Um, but it's not going to be uh, FSD beta version 11, and we're just going to proceed with this video. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, uh, let's, let's get started. I'm going to... Uh, Start moving here, and uh, we will uh, engage with the autopilot, or sorry, the FSD beta, rather, uh, as soon as we get the little steering wheel guy coming up. Okay, engaged. Okay, right off the bat, um, it's going way too fast, way, way too fast. So I'm going to manually just dial this down uh, these are, you know, very slippery conditions uh, with snow on the road. Uh, I just got a warning. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if the car actually is capable of recognizing that the roads are snow covered. Um, I'm assuming at the speed that it was going in those conditions that it doesn't. And, uh, but it is now detecting that there is uh, poor weather conditions. Okay, so we are going to do a left turn here. It's a four-way stop sign. Uh, I'm not expecting any drama. Let's see what happens. See, my hands are, are off the steering wheel. It's stopped. Now there's a car coming this way, but he wants to turn. But it's a four-way stop. So I just, I'm giving it some, I'm pressing the accelerator here. It was kind of at a stalemate, but it's a four-way stop. I still have my foot on the accelerator. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, now it's it's actually accelerating on its own. And we've got another stop sign here. Approaching pretty fast given the icy conditions. But it's it's executing the turn. Okay, very good. Very good. Yeah, there's Okay, the road is, is much better here. I apologize about the wipers, but as you know, uh, you cannot use FSD beta uh, unless you have auto wipers and it is doing the wiping thing. Okay, we just got a warning of some sort, but it did, it did execute that maneuver quite well. So we've got two challenges here 
in this, this short drive. So one obviously is the starting point on a road that hadn't been uh, plowed yet. And the second challenge is it's also nighttime. <laughs> And there is a sprinkling of, um, it looks to me like it's, it's freezing rain at this point. We're at minus four degrees Celsius. Okay, it just executed that lane change quite nicely. I like when it does it far in advance like this. I find that I get very uncomfortable with FSD beta if it decides it's not going to get into the turning uh, lane or the lane it needs to be into uh, at the last moment. I just, I just find that very uncomfortable, but it did well here. It was plenty of time, um, made the change. This right, the road is at a weird angle. So let's see uh, what happens here. We're going a little bit fast for freezing, for freezing uh, drizzle, but okay, that was fine. I mean, the freezing drizzle is very light. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, I think that's, uh, it's, it's done pretty well to this point, given the conditions. It did get wrapped around the axle, so to speak, at that four-way stop sign. I have to review the, the video to see why that might have happened. And of course, you'll be watching this, you'll, you'll be able to see the screen and and have your own opinion as to what happened. But uh, I was able to press the accelerator manually, um, did not disengage, there was no disengagement there, uh, but I did help it along by giving it um, some juice, so to speak. Okay, we've got green light and we're going. I, I do appreciate, this is one time where I do appreciate the slow, cautious approach. Okay, the speed limit here is 50 kilometers per hour. And if you're from this area, this is Harvey Road, you know that people do not drive 50 kilometers an hour on this road. So I fully expect people to start passing me. Um, but we're going to let the car do its thing and it will change lanes when it wants to change lanes. And we're going to be along for the ride there. And as you know, I'm doing these unedited drives, um, you know, just because I, I want to show the real deal, right? And I know, uh, I don't know, I, I get myself in trouble a little bit of times with, with the Tesla fans, but I think it's important to show FSD beta um, in the raw, right? And whether it's good or bad, and if it's a good drive, then I'm fully um, willing to accept that it was a great drive and, and uh, FSD beta you know, did the right things and that type of stuff. But if something bad happens or something weird happens, it's, you know, it's going to happen on camera. And uh, I guess viewers will have to choose for themselves whether they felt that it was a dangerous maneuver or um, if it was my fault or whatever it happens to be, but these are going to be in the raw. Okay. I need to get over to the right hand lane. There's a car beside me. There's lots of traffic behind me. It hasn't signaled. And at this point in time, I don't know what its plan is. Okay. So the plan here is, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's play this out. Let's play the look. Now it's going to try to get over. No, it's decide not to get over. I'm just taking over here, people, because there are a lot of cars behind me. Um, that was a fail, right? Objectively speaking, you saw it with your own eyeballs, right? Um, that that was an absolute fail. And normally I wouldn't have uh, done that U-turn that fast, but trying to get us back on track. Okay, come on, come on. 
There we go. Okay. What is it doing? I really don't know what it is doing here, folks. I really don't know. Um, I, I think this has gone from a fail to an epic fail. So we need to do a U-turn at some point. Uh, let's play this out. Let's play this out. Let's see what it is that the uh, car is going to... What is... No. No. I've, ha I've, I've had it. I've, I've had enough uh, at this point. I'm not going to... I'm not going to have that play out. Um, let's, let's try this again. I'm going to do another... Uh, u-turn when it's safe to do so and uh, i think this time what i'll do is i'm going to put it in the right hand lane and uh and continue because for some reason it doesn't seem to like uh it doesn't seem to like to get into the right lane um at that uh, at that point so okay so i'm just going to do this U-turn. Okay, now I'm in the right lane. Let's see. I, I really hope it doesn't put me in the left lane um, because that would be <laughs> compounding the problem. <laughs> Okay, I guess uh, so far on this approach, uh, it's good. I'm just hoping not to get caught at that light. Okay. Now, we seem to have somebody walking uh, on the road up here. Um, this will be a good test, a pedestrian test. Let's see what happens. It sees the person. You can see that on the screen. That's very odd. <clears throat> okay, now it needs to make a right here. Okay, so now we're getting into the right-hand lane. And uh, let's see if it'll execute the maneuver now. Okay, it's, it's edging forward. There's no one behind me, so I can give it the time and it, it made the maneuver. Now the good thing about this drive is I haven't had any random disengagements. And I know from my last video, uh, some people did comment that they, they felt maybe I was putting too much torque on the steering wheel, but I always have my hands off the steering wheel uh, you know, about a quarter of an inch or so. That's about a centimeter for metric people. Um, but today, no random disengagements, which is uh, pretty cool. Okay. We're going to go through this light. And our destination will be coming up on the right. So there'll be one final final maneuver that we'll be doing. Uh, the Tesla supercharger is just to my right here. If people are familiar with Park Place, they'll know that supercharger. It's one of the original ones in uh, in Canada, and I hope that they replace it with V3 soon because it's, uh, I don't know. I always have problems at the supercharger. It's super slow. Okay. All right. We're gonna make a right by the Mickey D's here. Okay, I've got my hands off the steering wheel and it is making the maneuver and uh, great. Okay, let's see what it does here because uh, I actually should be in the other lane. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to call it we're at our destination and uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> okay, let, let me just kind of park here and we'll debrief a little bit.
Okay, so uh, just a short drive today. And uh, again, you saw it live. I well, not live. You saw it unedited. <laughs> and you can let me know what you think in the comments of that drive. Um, I think that one part there was an epic fail. There's no other way to call it. Uh, that being said, you know, we do acknowledge that there's some pretty uh, difficult conditions uh, in this drive, and that's on purpose. Like I said at the beginning, uh, if you live in, in Canada or any other northern country where you get winter, if you have SSD, FSD, you're going to want to use it. So that's why I think it's a valid scenario um, versus some of the stuff coming out of California. And that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all your feedback and I do listen and I do make changes uh, based on your feedback. Uh, have a wonderful evening, day, whatever time it is for you. And we'll see you on the next one. Electric Connect, over now.